Okay, this is Orlando Wilson, and I want to talk about these, uh, what can be classed as pocket pistols. These days, everybody seems to go for the full-size firearms, but there's a lot of these smaller guns out there, and they have the advantage of being very, very concealable. And this is what a lot of people miss. What works for competition shooting is one thing, what works for defense and concealability is another. So, I know some people would say, oh, these guns are too small for self-defense. You know what? Any of these guns, if somebody puts a bullet in your head from one of these guns, you're dead. If somebody puts multiple rounds in you from one of these guns, you're going to have severe problems. These guns are dangerous. They will kill people. And it makes me laugh when a lot of people say anything smaller than a 9mm won't work. Then, you know what, that's internet BS and they obviously know absolutely nothing about what they're talking about. Okay, I'll talk about these guns and applications, etc. So to start off with applications, these guns are very easy to conceal, um, maybe as a backup gun, etc. But in some places, and I use, let's say you're driving into a roadblock somewhere, you're in Mexico or somewhere, some country, you drive into a roadblock armed, uh, manned by hostiles, be it cartel, be it whoever. If they find you, if you're caught with, say, a Glock 17, who carries Glock 17s? And in a lot of places, a Glock 17 is an expensive gun. The only people that's gonna have it is law enforcement, police, etc., or foreign agents. So something like a Glock 17 can immediately label you as being hostile to the, the bad guys. If you have something on you like this Phoenix Arms Raven, which is a Saturday night special, um, cheap guns, this is an older one, but this is a shiny gun. This is not the gun that a, a government agent is going to be carrying. This is a, a pimp gun. And again, the visual impact of this over the visual impact of the Glock, it says two completely different messages. This says official, professional. This says somebody that's just been a little bit careful. And to have something like this in your pocket, you can say, okay, I picked it up, picked it up off the street. I'm just being careful. I want something for self-defense, etc." This is a, a 25, 25 semi. What does this carry, like six rounds, seven rounds? Six. Uh, six rounds, what, I don't know, well, one in the chamber, seven rounds, chamber. And again, at close quarters, this gun will work. This isn't something you're gonna go to war with, but at close quarters, at a, in a last resort situation, this gun will work, this gun will kill somebody. You can reach out seven yards, seven meters with this, no worries. At close quarters, headshots with something like this, is very very doable as long as you practice you practice the point shooting but something like this in your pocket is very very concealable and it will work as long as you understand how to use the gun and by saying understanding how to use the gun you need to understand your strat you need to have strategies in, in place you need to have procedures in place protocols in place and again you need to be streetwise work out how you're going to deploy the gun and work out targets you're shooting for this can solve your problems now, this is a point .38 Smith & Wesson J-frame. Again, this is a, a .38 is a respected round. This, these little .38s, these little thumb nose revolvers, this can fit inside your waistband, this can fit inside the pocket. And again, the advantage of the revolvers, especially this because it's hammerless, you can shoot this through a pocket. You can shoot this through a bag. There's no working parts that get tangled up. Whereas if you're trying to shoot a semi-automatic, in a pocket or through a bag, that slide's gonna be working and can you can have misfeeds or it's just gonna get tangled up, yeah? This is the advantage of revolvers, especially these uh, hammerless revolvers. I'm, I'm big on these small little revolvers because they're very concealable. And again, they can be used to shoot through a pocket, shoot through a bag, etc. And again, the main thing with these is they're concealable. Something like this in your pocket, inside your waistband, this will solve most street problems. It's not something you want to go to war with, but for a lot of close protection duties, this is ample. Now, moving on to these smaller revolvers, they got these even in belt buckles, yeah? To unload this, it takes time. You have to manually take out the chamber. This holds five rounds of 22 Magnum, which is a potent uh, caliber. These are very small, very concealable. Put this into half cock if she'll go. These guns, a little bit of a, as I say, they're very, very fickle 
to load and unload. That's in half cock, that's the only safety on the, on the gun. So once this is loaded, this is very, very small. And in a lot of places, people look at this and think it's a toy, it's not a gun. But that's got a potent round in it. You have to manually cock it each time you fire it, which is slow. But again, as a last resort gun in a life or death situation, that can be a game changer. In a kidnapping situation, if you have this on your, in your pocket and you're inside your belt, etc., this can be a serious game changer. Now, upping things a little bit, these are, this is a Breda .32 Tomcat. I got a video online where I was shooting out to 60, 60 yards with this. And this gun is accurate, the rounds are potent enough. This is .32 ACP. And again, this gun is small, this gun is concealable. I carried this for a long time. I know somebody else that's carrying this. This is a decent defensive gun. The only trouble with these, people don't like them because you put, if you're on the range with this, if you put more than two magazines through it, they, gen they tend to jam up because I think they get a little bit too hot. But if you're carrying this as a last resort, as a defensive gun, um, I think this has got seven and one, eight rounds in it, that's ample, yeah? There's a big difference between competition shooting, range shooting, and guns which are for defensive purposes. So that's ample, that's concealable. This is the same type of firearm. This is a Breda, smaller. This is .25, and they go down to .22 long rifle. And again, that's a small, compact, concealable gun. In a life or death situation, as I said, hostage situation, etc. this, you could get this past the search, and this could be a serious game changer. Now, this is a Glock um, 380 Model 42. And again, we haven't got the magazine into this due to safety. or well, we haven't got the magazine around here. Anyway, it extends just a little bit more. This, uh, I think, carries six rounds of 380, one in the chamber, seven rounds. I could be wrong. So a lot of the main firearms manufacturers now are coming out with these sub-subcompacts, mainly for the American market because they're concealable. <coughs> I've carried this gun multiple times. It shoots very nicely. You can get a little bit of an extended mag on it, puts an extra round or two in there. But again, these guns are very, very concealable. Um, a lot of the manufacturers are coming out now in, I think CZ's got one, uh, I forget the name, CZ, the PO, P10. They've got a smaller, smaller P10 in nine millimeter. The trouble is these smaller guns in the larger caliber can have a lot more recoil. Um, but something like this inside your belt, inside your pocket is a good defensive firearm. And this is where people need to be able to work out, differentiate between, okay, a competition gun, a range gun, a gun you're gonna go plinking with, and a defensive gun. Defensive guns need to be concealable and you need to be able to shoot them accurately at close quarters. All of these guns will work as defensive guns. They might, might not be cool and good for competitions, but in life or death situations, they will kill the bad guy and they can save your life. So I'm big on pocket pistols. I'm big on these because again, if you're traveling somewhere and let's say things are gray, something like this in your pocket, something like this in your pocket, hopefully you'll never have to use it, but it's there and in a life or death situation, it can be a serious game changer. As I said, you've got something like this, like these guns, etc. You're gonna be viewed as being how can I put it, someone that's careful, someone that just has a gun just in case, whereas if you're carrying a full size, that can immediately give you away as a security person, government person, etc. So think about it. These guns work. Uh, think about what I've said in this video and work out your plans, work out your strategies, etc. And again, you have to be as fluid as possible. Nothing is 100% and uh, you have to, how can I put it, fit the guns in with your situation. And it's not always the competition guns, the 17s, that will always work for all situations. These guns have serious applications. You have to understand the guns. You have to understand how to apply them to different situations. So in the meantime, follow us along on social media for more videos on firearms, close protection, personal security, kidnap and ransom, etc. Um, there's an array of books on Amazon, and also, we'll be getting the training courses sorted out again in 2024. We've been taking a break because we've been too busy. But if you're connecting with me on social media, drop me a line if you have any questions or just uh, follow us along for updates on our courses and the other things we're up to. So in the meantime, be good, stay safe, and stay out of trouble.